Backstage at Jason Brunston, and I'm joined by the fabulous designer Jason himself. Jason, tell us a little bit about your spring summer collection. It's a very fresh collection. It's very clean, very pure, and very simple. It's um, it, the inspiration comes from the pool. It's it's a poolside collection, very Australian in the way that it's about easy, simple summer classics. There's just a there's an honesty to the garments. There's nothing tricked up about them. They're just very easy to wear. Now, Jason, a lot of designers draw their inspiration from, say, past works, past trends, other designers. You tend to look at women, and that's ideal because you are designing women's wear. Now, you've had Audrey Hepburn as an inspiration. You've had your mother. Who is it this year? It's not... It isn't just one person in particular. I was watching some Jean-Luc Godard films from the 60s and I was looking at Brigitte Bardot and I was looking at Romy Schneider in a French film called La Piscine about a swimming pool. And then I was also thinking about classic Australian girls. I thought of Elle McPherson and Lara Bingle and I thought of um, Christy Hins. Um, it was that whole classic summer Australian girl that I was kind of, I was really thinking about, you know, around the pool or at the beach. So it, it, it had a, a really easy, undone freshness to it. And what fabrics have you used to give across that look? I found these amazing fabrics in Paris in February, which they only arrived last week, so we quickly whipped them up into some, into some dresses. Um, the poolside inspiration led me towards some plasticized fabrics. So there's an amazing polyester which, which looks like cellophane, it's almost like bubble wrap in white. Um, it has the look and the effect of a swimming pool, the surface of a swimming pool almost. There's a, um, a clear plastic overlaid over white cotton lace which is really interesting. Um, there's some really beautiful white cotton broidery. I liked the, the innocence and the freshness of, of cotton broidery but, but contrasted with that shiny patent leather. There's a shiny patent leather in there um, in these really intense pastel colours. So it's the idea of innocence and clarity and it's very, very clean. And how long did this collection take? Well, the collection takes about six months to get together. Um, I probably started working on this in, say, last October. And um, it does take a long time. I mean, working on the show itself is, is only a couple of weeks, but it's actually getting the whole collection finished. That does take, um, it takes you about six months. Did you come across any big challenges on, along the way? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I had, I had a lot of fun doing this collection. It was... Um, I, was, I went to Paris in February, as I said, and I was really inspired. I loved, uh, I always love going to Paris. It's very inspiring. Um, I had a very firm idea of what I wanted to do from word go, and I, I just stuck to that. Um, having done easy classics last year, I just kept on with the same idea. You know, it is always, for me, it is about classics, and about, it's about refreshing classics, about giving them a new energy and a new lease of life by doing them over in interesting fabrics and giving it a, a cinematic quality. It's, it's almost like creating little characters for a film for me. Now, Jason, no doubt you'd be one of our most successful Australian designers. Um, you're stocked in quite a few countries overseas. Are you looking at branching out very much in the next 12 months, doing anything different? We're opening our Chapel Street store in Melbourne, which opens in a couple of weeks, so we're really excited about that. So now we, we have the store in Singapore, we have two in Sydney, we have Chapel Street. So we're always looking at opening more of our own retail stores. And uh, how do you describe your style? My personal style. Your personal style. We always see you with a new, a new pair of frames on. <laughs> but, um, what else? Um, I love collecting glasses now because of course I have to wear them and I just keep getting more and more and more. I found these in LA, they're kind of kooky. I like these. Um, but I guess my, my personal style, it's very black and white, it's quite classic. Um, and it's always got a little bit of quirkiness, I guess, with the glasses. If you don't mind giving it away, where would your little secret spot be to shop? Oh, my secret spot to shop. Um, Fred Perry. I love Fred Perry. I came across the Fred Perry store in the Marais in, in Paris, and um, it's so great. It's such a great little store. I could have bought everything. It's kind of, it's really preppy and um, mod. It hasn't really changed that much since the 60s. It's really cool. It's great. And what's your plan after Fashion Week? What will you be doing after the show tonight? After the show tonight, I've got a little party in the Rosemount Bar. Then um, I'll probably go to dinner and then tomorrow I've got a whole bunch of buyers to see. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to seeing the show, Jason, and all the best. Thank you. Thanks, Lee.